Welcome back to Season 3 of Cowboy Cartel Live, every Sunday on Facebook and YouTube at 8.30 p.m. Central. This podcast delves into all things hats, boots, and everything Western-related. We're truly grateful for the continued support from American Hat Company and Joby's Hats. American Hat Company, proud to be an American, proud to wear an American. American Hat is the official hat of Cowboy Cartel. And if you're looking for the perfect fit, look no further than Joby's Hats, our official hat shaper. Visit them in Fort Worth, Texas, or check them out online at jobyshats.com. Cowboy Cartel is proud to announce our new online hat shaping school. For more information, check out cowboycartelgroup.com, and don't forget to check out our store while you are there. We have added quite a few new items, and more are on the way. Now let's check in with the boys to see what's been happening this week. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us tonight. Happy Sunday. Um, as usual, I'm Joe. I'm Connor. And that's your cue. Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa is still here with us, helping us out. Uh, Lorena is still uh, in Mexico. She'll be back. She'll be back for the next one. Still MIA. MIA, yes. Uh, so we have special guest with us, Joao, and he is from Brazil. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> so we, man, this guys, this is going to be a really laid back podcast because uh, we have been at the hat shaping school all weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, we didn't just do uh, the hat shaping school. We oh. also took them to uh, the new grand opening of Joby's Hats, and then we took them to the stockyards and wound up at the uh, the rodeo. So <laughs> that was uh, quite, it was unscheduled, but uh, it's it's been a long weekend and I can't wait for tomorrow. I, I might have to take half a day off and just rest. That's fun. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us. And speaking of Joby's Hats, a uh, huge shout out to Joby's Hats and American Hat Company, the biggest supporters of what we do. We really appreciate them. Without them, we wouldn't be here and we wouldn't have had some really great seats for the for the rodeo this weekend. And, um, and we got to see the, the new grand opening. There was, uh, there was a lot of people there. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, it was packed. Oh. <laughs> and um, Connor's giving me that look. <laughs> My first day. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was, it was packed. Uh, I have video from uh, the stockyards. I have video from the rodeo. I have video from uh, Joby's Hats, the grand opening. And I'm going to put that out. Uh, this week, uh, I'll piece it together. Uh, we'll put out probably a short video of some kind. That shouldn't be too hard to do. As long as you have time. I have time. I will, I'll make time. <laughs> right. I, I, there's never time. There's never enough time. No. Um, we need about three more people. Agreed. So, Joao, you came from Brazil all the way to America. And we actually talked several times. You tried to get to, uh, we, I think we talked about the Houston uh, class, and then there was an, another class in Fort Worth uh, prior to this one that uh, we couldn't make happen, and then made it to this one. So what was your, so give us a little background, because you have been shaping hats for 10 years, and under the name, you, you shape under a different name. Yes, uh, my name in Brazil is Lubinho Baratela. That's why the guys know about me. Okay. And uh, I shape hats for uh, 11 years. And all the cowboy, cowboy cartel group. All right. And uh, each corner. Mm -hmm. And uh, try to learn a little bit and like the fix the problems. Yeah, I have. Yeah, we have. So you you have you do a great job shaping. Um, Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, your shapes are good. Uh, you know, you came to learn some tricks and and tips that Connor yes, and I hope I, I hope Connor uh, met your expectations and was able to teach you something. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. It's a long way if you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Way to make me feel inadequate. <laughs> no, absolutely. You could see, um, you you could see that uh, he got through the shapes pretty fast when he oh, did yeah. them. But uh, you know, there was always something to learn. Like uh, your technique for shaping straw is completely different. 
And um, so that was good. Um, how long are you here? You're here until just till Tuesday now. Yes, all a uh, all a week, like uh, eighty days. Okay, and just come for a class. Okay, and uh, spend time with our friends mm -hmm. and meeting you, mm -hmm. Connor. It's everyone's right. what's that I want. <laughs> so uh, in Brazil, you do you have a store? Do you go to events? How do, tell us about your shaping uh, in Brazil. I don't have a store. Uh -huh. I'm go with the uh, partner stores okay. to events, you know, like a jackpots, rodeos, right. and it a shape hats, like a reshape hats, and mm -hmm. and some people buy a new hat in the store and shape too. Okay, nice. So uh, primarily, uh, it's a it's a lot of reshapes than do a yes, lot of yes. Brazil is different here. <laughs> and so the, there's a lot of straw, uh, a lot of straw uh, hats in Brazil. Yes, and I think it's, the straw is most popular in Brazil. Right, and but you do have some wool, wool hats, uh, yes, and, and some wool felt. And felt. Have a beaver too. Beaver too. Yeah, nice. But not much. Yeah, uh, not many American hats down there, is there? Have. Yeah, but no much. Not much. Yeah. Well, um, it's it's really interesting. So, tell, walk us through what's the difference between. So you have PBR down there. You have Brazilian yes, PBR, yes. and and you have uh, you have rodeos too. So tell us a little bit about that because you go to these events. Uh, hey, right, and uh, some guys test me. Mm -hmm. Hey, you are in Texas. <laughs> Can you shape my hat? Ah, <laughs> the really? Brazilian guy. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Nice. So are you gonna are you gonna shape him for him? Uh I don't know if I have time. <laughs> <laughs> we we have a couple steamers. Yes. A few. You can bring me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, um yeah, so Finolio, it's a pretty interesting story. Uh we'll, we'll, <laughs> let's talk about let's talk about the Finolios. Um uh, so James Finolio, American hat, they uh they've given us uh, steamers for our shaping school. Uh, we tried a new venue uh, that we are, are working with here in Fort Worth, and we, we hope, hope that we are able to continue it with them because it's a pretty good uh, area and, and very close to us. But there was some power issues. Um, we, would pl we plugged in and immediately blew all the breakers. So we had to start finding out the power um we were using the jiffies four of them four of them and that was too much two was also too much well the <laughs> the thing is with the jiffies they require constant power yeah they require a constant yeah. feed of high amperage yeah you know you can use one jiffy and get away with it like you're not gonna have any problems if you're using right. a jiffy in your house but if you push four yeah you're gonna have issues because they require constant power whereas a boiler system like the Fenolio steamers, yeah. they require that power to heat up, and then that's it. Mm -hmm. they, they they back back down a little bit until they need to kick the boiler on again. Right. So uh, we called Fenolio uh, here in the stockyards, and we were able to go over and get another steamer, uh, which uses less power. And uh, so we were able to run two Fenolios, and we did wind up using two uh, Jiffies at the same time. What did you... Uh, think of the Fenolio steamers. No, oh, the good steamer. Yeah. I have one in Brazil. Okay, I bring it here, go to Brazil, and works me better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have you ever used the Jiffy steamers? Yes, I used. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> it's different. Yeah, it's different. I've, but it's it's a great steamer to have as a backup. It's a great steamer yes. to have in your house. Like I have if, one. If you want, I old one. Yeah. But if if you're shaping your own hats, you know personally, if you're not doing you know thirty hats a week, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. You know maybe the jiffy's the way to go if you're yeah. just shaping your own hats at home. Yeah, it absolutely is. There's no reason to have a big boiler system or anything like that right. if you're just doing your own hats or touching up your hats. Mm -hmm. I think the name is the personal steamer. Personal jiffy. I think it's personal steamer. I think it's yeah. Yeah, show in the box. It it might I I we've got the boxes because we transport them in the boxes. I have to look at that and see. Uh, that's a good point because uh, we need to contact Jiffy and see what they think. And now I've been to stores, 
Cavenders has a Jiffy as a backup. Uh, there's there's a lot of stores that either will run a Jiffy primarily or they'll run a Jiffy as a backup because um, if you don't have an autofill system, you know, you've got a 15 to 20 minute downtime when you're filling um, a big boiler steamer, pressure steamer, I guess. Well, yeah, because the Jiffy is a constant flow system. It flows through the tank, runs through the heater, comes out. So as long as it has water, it's going to keep going. Whereas a boiler system, you have to fill it, turn it on, and wait for it to pressurize. And when it runs out of pressure, it has to heat back up. Mm -hmm. Or if it runs out of water, you have to bleed the pressure, fill it, and then wait 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. So, I mean, it's... Yeah, I mean, it, it can be... They cumbersome. both have their pros and cons, yeah, for absolutely, sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, but, you know, if you need a lot of steam uh, and you need to get through a hat... The Fenolio is the way to go. Any, yeah, any kind of pressurized steamer. Like any that. boiler is going to be a game changer for anyone. Mm -hmm. so how, do, how do you do that when you, when, you, uh, when you are traveling and going to events? Do you take... Um, I take my... You take both or... Yes, I take both. I have a two uh, boilers one, uh -huh. the big one, two, okay. and uh, the, the Fenoglos, the small one, and I bring two. Yeah. And... How hard how hard are those to get uh, down in Brazil? Is it is it easy to to come by a, a steamer like that? Yes, about the steamer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. About, don't have a steamer like that one, Fenoglos in Brazil. Right. Yes. Okay. So, Let's do it. Yeah, I was gonna say we'll just we'll hook you up and you you take them down there because you're actually doing a hat shaping school in Brazil. Yes. I do. Yeah. And so, how's that going for you? How many classes have you had so far? Uh, had. Three classes, mm -hmm. uh, uh, one last year and this year two classes. Okay. And like a 10 students. Uh -huh. And they can shape by a Jiffy, can shape by a boiler mm -hmm. steam. And like I'm just putting the, they reshape heads, not the, the new one. Like that, the, that's they want in Brazil. Yeah, I think so. Uh, mostly brims. Yes. Yeah. Brims and how she brims and how cut brims. Okay. And fix the like the crowns. Mm -hmm. the so, way. so do you sand the brims down after you cut them when you're down there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if that was uh, that was common or, or, or thing other than what we do here. Because I saw I saw on your your Instagram where you yeah yeah in Brazil the uh, years ago they are popular they use like a five inch brim okay you know and right now they when I was like a four or four a quarter brim yeah and now all people want to do it. <laughs> right we I mean we deal with that at the store a lot people yeah. they'll buy a five inch because we don't have any four and a quarters and then they want to cut it down or they'll buy a four and a quarter and they want to cut it to a four so. We cut hats daily. Yeah. Maybe I do. I think. Yeah. Yes. I, um, well, it's common because if you get a 20X at Joby's, they're all five inch, right? Correct. Yeah. 20X uh, Americans are going to be five inch brims. Yeah. And um, Connor just informed me today that, oh, yeah, Joby had a sale today and no, <laughs> didn't get that out to you guys. We've been busy. Sorry. It's, it's been a hectic weekend. <laughs> there was a lot going on. Yeah, speaking of a lot going on, uh, we talked a little bit about going to the uh, Red Steagle, uh, the Cowboy Gathering, and we went to the finals last night. Uh, what did you think of that? Did you? Um, it's it's completely different rodeo. Yes, is it a ranch the, rodeo? It's a ranch rodeo, the Red Steagle, and Brazil and long time ago had like that ones. Okay, but right now don't have only the the roads like a bull ride and. A, a uh, horse rider, a bronc rider, mm -hmm. and this is different, but it's be fun. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it yeah. was interesting. They are really cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty interesting event. Uh, we got to see a lot of cool people. Um, you know, um, we got some prospects for, for more guests on the podcast, so uh, we'll be lining that stuff up. Hey, this is, uh, we pretty much are going to be able to fill all of November up and then uh, we, we're talking about going to Vegas in December. Uh, still working on that. We'll let you guys know as soon as 
that, you know, gets solidified and uh, we know how it's going to happen. But I think we're going to go to Vegas and we'll be doing some stuff from Vegas, hopefully. Um, maybe some lives, maybe, maybe some podcasts. I don't know. We got to figure it out logistically too, because we got to take all this gear down there. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather drive. I'd rather drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Connor and I have been debating on, uh, you know. No, no. We haven't been debating. We've been arguing. No. He wants to fly. I want to drive. <laughs> hey, if, if we can make it work flying, we're flying. Uh, if I have to be a Baraka shield. You're going to have to. <laughs> it's okay. I don't like the screaming metal death tube. <laughs> I'll crush up a Xanax and put it on your donut. Make it four. All right. <laughs> All right. Put me on a plane. It ain't going to be fun. <laughs> It'll be fine, Connor. I had a two-hour flight to Michigan this year, and I thought it was going to kill me. Michigan is more than two hours away. I don't Brazil know. Brazil is nine. Yeah. I couldn't do that. I couldn't. I can't sit still that long. At least in a vehicle, I have stuff to look at. Try going to you Japan. You still like did? I can't. No, oh, I can't. Sorry. One second. <laughs> I can't just sit still and, I don't know, stare at the screen in front of me right here. and Just watch movies. <laughs> just watch movies. I couldn't. Or I, watched, yeah. I had to watch the flight tracker when I went. I had to see how fast we were going, how high in the air we were. I had to learn. Oh. I had to do okay. something to keep me occupied because I was terrified. Ah. I'm not a driver. Huh? Drive, yeah. You want <laughs> I would much rather drive. Put me yeah. in the truck. I'll set the cruise at 80 and we'll get there. Uh, well, here's the problem with that. Your, your truck uses a lot of gas. Want to drive to Brazil? Because we're talking about going to Brazil with Joao. Say when. Uh, it, okay, well, if we're going to Brazil, we'll how are you getting there? Buy a car? I mean, if we could get there by car, I would. You can't. I know we can't, but if we could, I mean, technically we can. No, I don't. You think have we to can. go now. We'd have to go. We'd have to get on a ship, put the truck on a ship, then we can go. I'm fine going on a boat. I'm cool with a boat. Okay. I'm uh-huh. Cool with a ship. Don't like planes. Uh huh. You'd rather drown. I could tread water. <laughs> For how long? Till I can't. Okay. Put me in the water. I ain't scared. Okay. All right. I'll tread water until something pulls me under. How about that? Might not be too long. Then it won't be my concern, will it? (laughs) Well, I mean, it might hurt a little. I don't think I'll feel it. Okay. (laughs) If something pulls me under, I don't think I'm going to feel it. All right. All right. We'll see. So driving to Vegas, we've decided. No, we're not driving to Vegas. If we can, (laughs) if I can figure out how to ship everything. um, You can. I'll carry it. I'll throw it in the truck and I'll ship it for you. I'm not paying for your gas. Well. well, It's going to be a lot more. Money in gas and flying. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I can go about 500 miles on a tank. That's 100 bucks. All right. We'll, we'll work on that. I don't want to. Fly. We, we got that. We got that. Just making sure everybody knows, <laughs> making sure it's clear that I, I don't want to fly. So you fly a lot? Or? No. No. No, just. But uh, are, you, around. are you scared of flying like Connor? Or? No. No? No. Nope. It's fine. I'm scared. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, you miss yeah. out on all yeah. the opportunities. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you just got to, even if you are scared, you just got to get on the plane. <laughs> I'm outnumbered. I need an adult. <laughs> so let's talk about uh, Joby's hats. And uh, we saw Best Hat also yesterday. What did you think of that? How is it different from what you see in Brazil? Is it uh, completely different, or do you have big stores like that? Uh, Brazil have a good stores. Yeah. Not like a, a or a, just about hats, you know. Uh, here is big. Yeah. Big, big. Hat to hat bar, mm-hmm. like hat store in the bar. Okay, closest. Yeah, light up just a little bit, wait. There you go. That's all right. Um, you know, it's it's funny because uh, Texas Texas has a bunch of hat stores, right? Yes. Um, they're not as common throughout the rest of the world. You'll have Western stores throughout the rest of the country anyway. Um, but you'll have, you know, more chain-like uh, things. You know, you have... Uh, Boot Barn, Boot Barn. Cavenders. Yeah, yeah. Boot Barn, Cavenders. Uh, you do have independent Western stores. Absolutely. And um, some of them are really good. Um, like Al Western 
in, mm-hmm. in Howell, Michigan. They sent uh, a shaper here for the, the school. So This will be the second shaper, well, technically fourth person from Howell that I've taught. Yeah. And Cause I've, taught, I've taught the owner. Mm-hmm. I've taught Danny. Right. And I've taught his wife, Erin, and now Emma. Okay. So I've taught four people from that store how to shape. All right. And they are kicking it. They're doing awesome. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're doing a lot of... Um, but they're doing a lot of fashion hats. They're doing too, a right? lot of fashion hats and a lot of crazy stuff up there. Yeah, I'm I'm absolutely surprised at how many hats they're doing uh in Michigan. At Cavenders in Austin, I don't think we did as many as they're doing up well, there in Michigan. They've kind of cornered that market. I mean, fortunately in the area they're at, there's not a lot of opportunities to get hats and stuff like that. And there's a boot barn. Yeah. Yeah. But the boot barn is doing their marketing for them. Yeah, yeah. Because he's they're not they're not taking the care of the customers, right. so they're coming to Howell Western to see them. Well, we're we're going to try and get the the guys from Boot Barn up in Michigan down here too. That way, we got to have some let's, competition. Let's stir the competition. Let's stir the pot up there. Competition. Let's competition. see if see competition if we can't. Competition is healthy. Let's see if we can't turn that town of town of Howell into a a war zone. <laughs> yes. So, how about you? And how about Brazil? Do you guys do any fashion hats at all down there? Some guys do it in Brazil, but it's not very not very common down there. Maybe will be. So maybe I mean, it will be. It could be. It could be. It could be. So. You have the you have the opportunity to make that happen if you want to. There you yeah. go. You're gonna have to take uh, you know take your your skills down there and just say, all right, you know what? Look at this. Yes, I can shape, but no, I, I like on the crowns. How white crowns? Okay. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter how crazy you can shape if you can't do the the basic bread and butter shapes and it's not going to take you very far right that's what I think. so if you focus in on your 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 main shapes your <laughs> cattlemen's your bricks stuff like that you're golden yeah absolutely so what's next for you um you have a great following on instagram and um actually i had a, a lot of people from brazil follow me this week just because you were posting stuff about the school and they they started following me so you have you have a pretty good following down there. Um, are people excited for you to come back and and see? You know. Uh, or what about? I forgot. Are are <laughs> uh, are your fans, your followers, are they excited for you to come back and and see? Yes, yes. They waiting me about. Uh, I'm going to the event like this. I will live here Tuesday mm-hmm. and arrived in. Wednesday in Brazil, and I have to go to the the, the jackpot. Okay. And they asking me, hey, you come? Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm excited about that. So do you have any open crowns to take with you or just a... Uh... I will take one. So yeah. Yes. Good. I will. Good. Uh, you, I can't wait to, to see that on, on Instagram. Make sure you post plenty of pictures of that. Yeah. Be sure to tag us every now and then. Yeah, yeah. I'll tag you. Okay, good. Okay. Connor wants to keep good. up. I want to keep up with the students. I want to yeah. see how everybody's doing. I, I want to, you know, it, it helps me know that we're doing a good thing. Yeah. Well, this is our first international student and, um, you know. <laughs> You're setting the bar high. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, it's always great when you can go in there, and, like we went into Joby's or we went into Best and, and we said, okay, we've got a guy from Brazil, a lady from uh, Michigan, another guy from California, Arizona, just like, you know, that's everywhere, you know. I mean, we've got from Brazil to Michigan. I don't. I, I still kind of disagree with that statement. <laughs> We're working on it. I don't know if I don't know. If, I don't know if he's a celebrity yet. We're working on it. I'm a celebrity to you. No. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, think about it. How big are you back home? You're a celebrity back home. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I never think of that. A celebrity? No, I'm I'm just a I'm just a guy people see a lot of. Yeah, courtesy of somebody. Yeah. <laughs> and now you you know you've got uh, you got people who uh, are looking for a good hat shaper and they find one and they're like oh man this guy knows what he's doing. Now we know where to get our hat shaped. So it, you know. When we want to we want to make that accessible for everybody. That's, yeah, that's the whole point of the Absolutely. class is we want people. We want people and we want stores to do well. Yeah. And we want the customers to be happy. Yeah. 
So we're going we're gonna to start uh, putting on our website everybody who's taken the class and you know where you can go, like maybe if somebody's in Brazil and they look at the website and they say, oh, yeah. okay, well, we do have a guy who's taken the class in Brazil. Let's go there. Or if you're in California, you know, we've got a guy in Northern California, a guy in Southern California, just in kind Michigan. Of a network of yeah. all the people who have who we would certify. So I, someone's had. I have to figure out how to do that. Uh, I, I would love to have one of those little maps where, you know, you can just type in your mm-hmm. zip code and, um, and then good idea. Yeah. I don't know how to make it work yet. We'll figure it out. I though. Don't know. For a tech guy, <laughs> he's not very good at tech. <laughs> That's not tech. That's web development. I am not a web developer yet. No, I give up. Uh, uh-uh. not doing it. I, I don't want anything to do with it. Um, I got enough to do with just trying to figure out cameras and audio. And now I have to figure out how to stream from Vegas. And about Brazil too. Oh yeah, and Brazil. We're going to have to stream from Brazil. I'm glad that I just show up and make jokes then. I mean, that's, that's going to be your... You your heard deal. the guys. We were late today because I couldn't figure out the tech. It's this, Once again, that's, it's that's this on new you. Software. It's this new software. That's on you. I just work here. The software is good because the stream looks good and everything works once you get it working. It's a matter of getting it to function and start up on time. It's the problem. But uh, So what you're saying is it's the process, about making the process easier. Yeah. Kind of like what we spent the past three days yeah. teaching. Yeah. Uh, we, we need to figure out a lot of our process because... <laughs> There's, you know, there's a lot that goes into this, and we're only we're only on one camera right now. We've got um, we've got enough to do four, but you know, Connor and I was we were setting this up, and uh, I we're was like, tired. you know what? Yeah, I was like, you know what? Let's just let's not. I'm tired, <laughs> we're, boss. We're gonna make. <laughs> I'm tired He's, of this, Grandpa. <laughs> he, he said that a lot this weekend. <laughs> it's true. I've, it's yeah. it's a lot of work to do the classes. Yeah. Every time we're coming up to one, I'm like, oh, this is going to be easy. This is going to be easy. And then by the time we're done, I'm just like, can it I go home? Sh- it should have been easy, but we added this this extra element of going to Joby's in the stockyard. and um, We spent a whole day walking. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I don't walk. Yeah. I have a vehicle, so I don't walk. Yeah, I mean, well, parking was a nightmare <laughs> in the stockyard. Um, so we kind of had to walk. But uh, yeah, what was your favorite part of the stockyard? Uh the rodeo. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, um, I saw that. I, I think I asked you last night, is, said, have you ever seen anything like this? And you said, nope. <laughs> no. It's a rodeo. <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Um, it, it was just kind of coincidence. Everything just lined up. Yes. Because we knew we wanted to schedule it uh, for this weekend. And that was because that was the weekend the venue was available. And it turned out to be Red Steagle. And it turned out Joey's grand opening happened. And it turned out you know, we got uh, tickets from American. So, I mean, you know. Everything just lined up. Yeah. So, it, it was fantastic. Um, I, the next one probably won't be a, a Saturday. <laughs> we're setting the bar a little bit high yeah, for it, the next one. I mean, we're not even going to tell you all of the cool stuff that happened because everybody would be like, all right, we... we they want their turn. Yeah, and it ain't gonna happen. Uh, but I mean, Keith, that goes that goes to show you you never know what's gonna happen in the stockyards. Yeah. You never know what what you're gonna run into, who you're gonna run into, or yeah. what's going on. Yeah. I was trying to think. Yeah, we we ran into a lot of uh, cool people. Jerry Gazelle. Uh, we ran into him like four times this weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, we Jerry saw him Gazelle, every day. Yeah, we did. Uh, Jerry Gazelle was on our podcast a year ago. Uh, we talked to him. He's gonna. Uh, we talked to him. Asked him if he'd want to do the podcast uh, again. And he said absolutely. So we're gonna we're gonna figure out when we can get him back. Uh, he's also going to Vegas, and um, hmm. and so maybe we'll meet up with him there too. So that'll be pretty interesting. Um, so what do you got, Connor? I mean, we also had that event Thursday yeah. at Letty's. We did. did we, we had a dinner. Talk to, talk to anybody? About it? I don't think we did. Uh, we've so, talked to so many people this weekend. I don't know who we've talked to or who we haven't <laughs> talked to or what we have talked about. That that ain't that's not even an exaggeration. No, um, you know the networking was strong this weekend, and that was great. Network. My social battery is very limited. Network, yeah. very limited capacity of networking, and I kind of got thrust into it quite a bit this weekend and didn't really have a choice. Yeah, 
a little overwhelming, not going to lie. A little yeah. overwhelming trying to do all of that. But we started off with that event uh, Thursday night at Lay's. We ran into, that's where, that's where I had the opportunity to meet to meet Jerry Gazelle. Right, yes. I'd never met him up until that point. Yeah, and um, yeah, and well, you, you'd you known uh, James Finolio. Oh, yeah. I've, dealt with him. I've dealt with him many, many right. times over the past few years from working at the factory because he's always up at the factory. Um, but then did, we ran into David Bond. Right. The artist. Right. We right. ran into Scott Slusher. Right. Um, obviously, Keith Mundy. Keith Mundy. His yeah. wife, Terry. Right. Absolutely, yeah. And um, then Susan, Susan Maddox. Maddox. Mm-hmm. Ran into a bunch of people. Um, I mean, well, everybody was there. Some of the guys from Best Hat were there as well. They were, yeah. So we, we, saw, we saw a bunch of people there. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a, uh after hours event. Uh, uh, I had Rattlesnake, and Connor wouldn't try it. I you, stick with what I know. I'm a I'm a creature of habit. Have you ever tried anything a, a, rattlesnake? Have you ever eaten rattlesnake? Oh no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> See, that means it's okay. <laughs> it's that's fine. You're outnumbered here. We're uh, it was win. good. You 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 missed out. It was good. Um, I don't know if I'd I, I don't know if I'd stock the refrigerator with it, but it was that it was, apparently it wasn't that good. It was worth trying. Okay, that's that's the true statement there. It was worth trying. <laughs> it was worth trying everything. You know, you got to try everything. I agree. I, that's fair. I I mean, so why didn't didn't you try the rattlesnake? Because I saw pulled pork and I got excited. <laughs> did you try any Texas barbecue while you were here? You yes. did. Yes, that's right. You told us. Yes. You went to Risky's, right? Yeah, the Risky's. Barbecue is uh, ribs. Like the ribs, ribeyes. barbecue ribs, yeah, ribeyes. ribs, 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 barbecue ribs. Yeah. Okay. And it was good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Glad you liked it. Uh, next time I will, I will give you, uh, the place to go. Hard eight barbecue, hard eight. It's not in the stockyard, but it's fantastic barbecue. Um, I saw the scene in where you saw the what? The scene. Then. Sign. 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 Sorry. My Sign. apologies. Oh, yes. sorry. Yes. Sorry Sign. about Sign. Get with the program, Joe. Come on now. Hey. <laughs> I, I, I have enough trouble with Spanish. My Portuguese is way worse than I Spanish. struggle with English. <laughs> I have to try to, I have to translate uh, for Connor. All we the talked time. about that the other, yeah. uh, earlier today, actually. For some reason, my speech has been going downhill the past few days. <laughs> yes, he thought he was having a stroke. I'm having strokes in my sleep and just waking <laughs> up, and one day I'm going to wake up and just go, mm. <laughs> yes. But uh, uh, Risky's Barbecue, I've uh, eaten there. Uh, they are in the stockyard. It's it's not bad barbecue, um, but uh, Hard Eight, fantastic barbecue. And uh, what's the other one in the stockyard? The Cooper's. Cooper's. Uh, that that place is a tourist trap. It's not bad food, but man, it's got the name. Oh, I mean, it's there again. Almost anywhere, I would consider almost anything in the stockyards to be kind of a. A tourist trap. Right. That's the whole point of it. I mean, well, I can't I hate know. it because look at how much business it brings the city. I don't know. Uh, uh, Letty's has been in that location for years. And years. Well, I'm not I mean, talking about them. Those are yeah. established. Right. I'm talking... Well, it's, it's become you know, stockyard so Stockyard station area. It's become so expensive. You can't just get a store in stockyards. No, no. It's not that... Sim- well, I mean... <laughs> well, I mean, that's all... Pretty good ways out of the area. Fair, fair. And, but if you and I wanted to go get a store in the stockyards, we couldn't afford it. It would just be ridiculous if we could find one. Oh, do you, well, yeah. No, you're right. I was going to make a joke on that, but it's come and gone before I could even <laughs> process it. So do you have any, um, any desire to open your own store eventually? I don't remember. You don't think you want a store? No. Oh. I I I don't know about that. Yeah. Is I think it's, if I travel around, there for me. Yeah. There for my business. Okay. I think. Just to have a store, you have to behind the table. Trust me. We've we've talked about that. Me and him have yes. talked about that before. Of you know eventually. Further on down the road, not immediately. Right. We'd like to do something. We just don't know. We haven't decided if we want to be mobile mm-hmm. and travel like that or if we want to actually set up a location. Because 
it's two completely different markets. You can do well traveling, or yeah. you can do well with a store if you pick the right place. Yeah, I think uh, I think there are advantages to having a store. Uh, I think there are advantages to traveling. Absolutely, there's advantages to both uh, sides. I think online sales are um, oh, really big are, right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you could combine online with um, a mobile store where we could go to places that didn't have good shaping um, or, you know, uh, easy access to great hats. And right, just shapers. doing venues and things yeah. like that. Right, sure. right. I don't see why that couldn't be, couldn't be done or couldn't be a thing. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions? Okay. So All right. the first one is from Joe. Are hat shapes similar in Brazil? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> hey. Are uh, are the hat shapes uh, similar in Brazil to what they are here? Yes. Okay. Yes, they. We, Brazil we have like a similar here, but not like this. Technically, uh, like the the process. Okay. To do is not like no. Okay. Like here. All right. Uh, so cattleman crown, pretty common. Yes, in Brazil is only prequis. Okay. Okay. And I think these the guys have a problem, problem uh, about the steamers. Uh -huh. If they could, uh, if they had ones, if they had access to good steamers, it would it would make a difference. Yes, okay. it would be making. Well, we need to have a good guys in Brazil. <laughs> we need to we need to get James Fanolio to start uh, exporting those to, to Brazil. Maybe we can hook you up and you'd be the distributor down there. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> there you go. We'll have to talk to him about that. Uh, because, yeah, you, you got to have a good steamer to, to shape hats. Make a difference. What about, uh, what about brims, uh, brim width? Is it? Uh, many different styles. You know, like, yeah. they are like a square and open, a little bit short. Yeah. And up. And they want to flat. <laughs> yeah. No dip? No. No dip. Okay. So if I remember correctly, I actually have a, there's a customer at the store that, call, that calls the store every now and then. And I believe she is in Brazil and she'll order five or six hats at a time. And they're ranging from a couple of straws to the last order she had was, I think, close to almost $4,000 worth of hats. Wow. And they were all cattlemen. Mm-hmm. They were a low cattleman, kind of that quarter horse crown, and then quarter horse brims, so that really high and tight, a lot like what right. Emma was wearing, but tighter, yeah. much tighter. And like every single hat she orders, yes, a show crease, every single hat she orders is shaped that way. And yeah. I believe she is in Brazil, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Hmm. Brazil or Venezuela, I don't remember. Well, that's two, that's two separate languages. I know it's two different two places. Two different languages, even. <laughs> I'm well aware. <laughs> I'm tired, boss. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how about other uh, equestrian events? Do you have uh, do you have raining and and other uh, equestrian events down there? Uh, have a main events you are, are you talking about? So, uh, you you where you would have normal rodeo and bull riding. Do you also have uh, horse shows? Yes, I have a uh, rodeos and a horse shows too. Okay, and there's a different shape. Mm -hmm. That's kind of here too. It's also different. Oh, yeah. Well, there again, you look at the shape. I we gave her a, we gave her a hard time the entire class. Yeah. Way the shape that Emma, our young lady from Michigan, because she was wearing more of that. What would you call that? Uh, Western pleasure, you know, style where it's narrow. It's kind of kind of high and tight, but very little dip. Mm -hmm. And she asked she asked me today when you had stepped out. She said, uh, "Does this?" Does it look bad or does it look goofy? Like, well, where you're at in your location, it probably looks fine. Down here in Texas, it looked kind of dumb because everyone in Texas has <laughs> you, you told her her hat looked dumb? No, I said down here. If you live down here, yes. <laughs> Man, Connor. She, she got a little offended. I didn't know. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> it made her dip the hat, though. I got her to put some dip in it, though. <laughs> Did she? Okay. All right. Once again, bullying another customer. Good Lord. <laughs> I don't know how, I mean, you're going to lose customers like that. 
Apparently not. Apparently I keep them and gain them. I don't Once know. Once again, you guys are feeding my ego. Yes. All right. Cancel him. Cancel <laughs> him. Do it. Please. Please cancel me. Then I won't have to do this anymore. Blink, blink. <laughs> All right. What other questions do you have? We have one. We have one from Daniel. Uh-huh. Does anyone know where he can buy a few practice hats? He can get a few and a Jiffy steamer before he joins the arm. Okay. Yes. We're working on um, we're working on practice hats for uh, people who it'll it'll go to people who have taken the in person uh, classes first, and then um, due to availability, it'll will then roll it out to the pro hat shapers. Um, but we we have to talk to uh, some people about that. We're we're still working on it. We've got some uh, stuff scheduled. I had an email conversation about this just last week but because we have uh well we had the school uh that'll be on the list for of things to take care of this week so we are working on some very reasonably priced uh practice hats we'll see i'll I'll let you know more on that but uh you can always shoot me an email and i will keep you informed I'll keep your email address, Joe at CowboyCartelGroup.com. Uh, I'll keep your email address, and once we uh, kind of get there, we can let you know what's happening. What else you got? I'm just watching the Facebook feed on there. Okay. Questions? See something in here mentioned of a monkey dance? Dance, monkey, dance? Yeah. And maybe get the monkey dance. I, I, I mean, what, what do we need you to dance for? Nope, nope, nope. Shaping? Do we, do we need you to shape something? Probably so. Probably. There's, I think there's some shaping to be done after the class. Or after, I'm sorry, after the stream. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I could be talking about my hat. You've been giving me a hard time for mine for the past few days, too. I th- I'm pretty sure you threw it on the ground last night. I'm not pretty sure I did. Yeah, you bounced it off the ground. Proving a point. A thousand it's X. just a hat. He's, he's wearing a thousand X and he bounced it I'll off the I'll do ground. it now. Uh, brim, no, it's just, that'd be too loud. It's too loud. I'll throw it that way. No. Just it's a hat. Like he bounced it off the, the edge of the brim. I paid for it. Yeah. You know. Uh, I, he likes doing that. He likes, he likes to make people uncomfortable. Or Oh, yeah. Um, I love if I can do that and make somebody go, <gasps> yeah. it's great. I just, I don't give him the satisfaction I go. But I know it hurts him inside. Not my hat. I don't give a crap. Quality snob. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just wearing a 200X today. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? That's it. No questions. All right. What are we looking at already? Because I'm tired. 9.15. All right. You got any, uh, you got any insight on, uh, on hat shaping that uh, you want to share with anybody? What, did, what was the most interesting thing that you learned this week at the class? Details. Details. We teach details because that's my biggest thing. Let's make a difference. Yeah. Good point. Yeah, yeah. it is. Uh, that's what sets a really good hat shaper apart from a great hat shaper. And I think you mentioned that. Tom. You're absolutely yeah. correct there. You're absolutely correct with the details. <laughs> <laughs> we are live. <laughs> she's, she's new here. It's her first day, too. <laughs> it's everybody's first day. Uh, but no, details. We were talking about this in class. Mm-hmm. Um, many people can shape a hat, and a lot of people can shape them well. But those who can shape a hat well are here. Mm -hmm. If you can master the detail stuff, the little details that most people neglect or don't pay attention to or don't care about, you'll be way up here. You won't just be a little bit above. You'll be massively ahead of everyone else. Because like I told you, I told you today, your shapes are awesome. You're good on all the shapes. It's just that fine detail stuff, little things that most people aren't going to notice. You know, that's, uh, you know, that's, you know, go to Best Hat. You go to Joby's. Um, 
those are where the details are. Those are the premier hat, short, hat stores, right? Right, right. Um, you know, there are others, you know, in that category, but um, there's it's very few. So, absolutely. Well, Joe, Al, we really appreciate you coming down here and taking the class and spending some time with us tonight, talking absolutely. to talking to us about uh, the differences in you know um, the kind of culture in the Western industry for our two countries. So it's been a pleasure having you in the class, and we thank you. And we can't wait to come down and visit you in Brazil. So um, they've got some pretty fantastic uh, Brazilian barbecue, right? Yes. So I've I, I've worked with Brazilians before, it, and when they invite you to a barbecue, you go. Because, I invite you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And you. I'm game. I'm yeah. a food guy. I love food. <laughs> yeah. But no, we what absolutely don't have in Brazil. What is it, Pequeno? I'll, I'll be fine without Pequeno. Yes, yes. I'll be fine without Whataburger. I think I'll be okay. Oh, good Pequeno. <laughs> but no, I look, I look, I do seriously look forward to seeing your your social media. Mm-hmm. I look forward to seeing things you post and seeing how your shaping progresses even more beyond what you already are. I right. look forward to that. Absolutely. So, really appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate, it. and my pleasure. My pleasure. Here and good. First podcast. Ah, cool, cool. <laughs> and uh, I learned a lot okay. at the class, and that's it. I'm thank. Good, good deal. We appreciate you. Appreciate. It. Thank you. All right, guys. So, uh, 200x giveaway from Joby's Hats coming up. Uh, I will work with him now that we've got the uh, the grand opening out of the way, and uh, we'll get something lined up for that coming up real soon. Uh, we are doing, Connor and I will be at Fenolio Boot Store on Wednesday doing a recorded podcast, and you guys will get to see that pretty soon. So stay tuned. Uh, lots more to come this month or actually next month. So, all right. Thanks for joining us tonight, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, guys. Y'all Thank have a good you. evening. Thank you. Obrigado. Obrigado. <laughs>